Building an AI agent can sometimes require vast context windows. Maybe you're feeding whole documents to your agent, or you're working with some super lengthy prompts. If you are, you're probably looking at Anthropic's 100k token window and thinking it's the golden ticket. But hang on a second. A recent study suggests that bigger might not always be better. Let's chat about that. Hey, it's Pete. And today on Context, we're going to be talking about context windows. Now, if you've been keeping an eye on large language models, you'll have seen that their context windows are getting pretty expansive. Take Anthropic, for instance. They're boasting a whopping 100k token window. Then we've got GPT-4 and Llama sitting at 32k, Google's Palm at 8k, and Cohere rounding it out at just over 4k. But there's this paper that just popped up on Archive titled, Lost in the middle, how language models use long context. That puts into question whether having large context windows is always the best. The researchers took a good hard look at several models and their context windows. And here's the kicker. Across the board, there was this kind of U-shaped pattern. The models were on point when the info was at the start of the context, not so much in the end, but in the middle, yeah. So what's the deal? Well, the paper throws around a few ideas. These include model architecture, training bias, task design, and a few others. But the one that really got me thinking was about attention mechanisms. Okay, so you're probably going, Pete, what the hell is an attention mechanism? Well, here's a little analogy. Imagine you're in a lecture. You don't hang on every single word that the lecturer says. Instead, you focus on key points, the bits that seem most important. Essentially, that's what an attention mechanism does in a large language model. They help the model decide which parts of the text to zoom in on and prioritize when generating a response. And this is where attention mechanisms behavior becomes particularly intriguing. When these models process vast amounts of text, their attention seems to be more, I guess you could say concentrated at the beginning before kind of thinning out in the middle and then getting this slight uptick at the end. Essentially, the mechanism's efficiency diminishes over longer stretches, leading to that U-shaped pattern we talked about. Now this pattern is actually reminiscent of something we humans experience. It's called the serial position effect. Herman Ebbinghaus found in 1966 that we tend to remember items at the beginning and the end of a list better than those in the middle. It's kind of fascinating, isn't it, that these LLMs in some way reflect our own cognitive tendencies. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but hey, I thought it was kind of cool, so I'd bring it up. All right, so what's the takeaway? Well, the big thing is you're gonna to want to put the most important information related to your prompt near the front of the context window. And a great way to do that is with retrieval augmented generation, or as the cool kids are saying, brag. Here you use a vector database to retrieve information and pass it to the LLM as part of the context of the prompt. To help make sure that your vector database is doing its job placing the most accurate information up front, you'll need to optimize your documents for retrieval. And to help, here's a quick cheat sheet. First up, it's all about layout. It's all about organizing the content with clear headings and the like to make it easy for the LLM to navigate and pinpoint crucial information. Next, Summaries, start each section with a brief overview, letting the model quickly grasp the essence of the section without getting bogged down in the details. It's kind of basic, but just ensure your documents spotlight a lot of frequently searched items, product names, IDs, common queries and the like. So you could have a frequently asked questions section at the start of each document. Consistent formatting across content helps the model recognize patterns and retrieve info more predictably. Bullet points help distill complex ideas into digestible chunks, making it a breeze for your model to understand. And you, me, LLMs, nobody likes jargon. If you've got technical terms throughout your documents, make sure you provide explanations. It's also good to break up dense blocks of text into shorter paragraphs. Last, but not least, a table of contents can help models traverse big documents quickly. Ultimately, if you can make the document human readable, then an LLM will be able to read it too. Whew, that was a lot. Thanks for sticking with me. That's my take on context windows. Let me know yours in the comments and remember, stay curious.